you guys went ahead and cleaned the pit boss. That's what we're planning to use today. We want to get it up to 250 degrees. I do have a scraping tool. I do sell these. I will put the description as well as uh, how you can order one of these on the website. We are also going to show you that today we are using stoked barbecue pellets. Uh, they were generous enough to give me a couple of bags. I'm gonna, I've, I've got the one bag in the hopper right now. All right, you guys, well, these uh, cuts of pork came from Pampered Pork, pamperedpork.com. Dave Connolly and family, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, the one on the right is uh, referred to as a picnic roast. guys real quickly here the picnic roast I am using Saints and Sinners competition blend pork uh, Saints and Sinners sns-barbecue.com also has uh, it's called butt dust uh, but I am gonna wait and use that when I do a full pork butt pork shoulder uh, again if you want a really good competition pork rub We've got it right here in the Blue Flame series for Saints and Sinners. Alrighty guys, so I came out to check. This should level out to its 250 degrees for the analog, but the digital is saying we're right there. We're gonna go ahead and put those uh, cuts of pork on, the roast on the uh, lower part of the shoulder. This is February 3rd, and uh, I'm in Minnesota, so this is extremely unusual. Uh, she's supposed to get in the 40s today, but this is about what it's going to look like all day. See you in the next clip. Hey guys, you can hear the pit boss roaring away. Alright you guys, two hours in, not much to see here. I did spritz each one of them with water. And they're about at that 155 mark at this point in time. See you in an hour. Hey guys, we're at that three hour mark. I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz them again a little bit. I'm gonna tap them for you too. They say that they're about 160s. You guys, we're just over four hours in. The smaller of the two I did wrap, it did hit that 180 mark. And the probe on this one tells me that same thing. So we grabbed the probe. I should say that the other handheld beat the monitor. Five hours in. I'm guessing these are going to take a while yet, but not far from it. Same thunder. This one's definitely not. So I'm going to pull the smaller one, but I'm going to let this one go a little while. All right, so the smaller of the two cooks is right here. It did measure out at a little over 200 degrees. Uh, I'm not going to do the fancy pull out of the bone, all that stuff you normally see me do. But I'm going to transfer it over to this pan here, and over here is where I'm going to shred it. And then let, next clip, you're going to see it shredded. Alright guys, so I did shred the picnic roast, there it is. Looks just like a pulled pork from a pork butt or Boston butt or pork shoulder. Bone of course isn't as big, I pulled that out. And then anything that you don't really want to eat, 
I mean, this was kind of gristly with, I believe that was what was around the bone. And then the outer edge here, I just took out it. You actually can chew on that, it's really good. The juice is out of here, I did dump in here, but that is the final product. All right, so the picnic roast is here. As we showed earlier, I shredded everything. I just put an original sauce. Again, I'm not brand sensitive on this. Um, mix that in a little bit. Uh, again, the rub I used was the s, s Competition Blend Pork from Saints and Sinners. And if you want, he does make one specifically for pork shoulder and pork butt called Butt Dust. But I wanna save that when I do an actual nine pound shoulder someday. So. We're gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of a bite here and see what we got. Yeah, definitely. It tastes just like a pork shoulder. It's all the front of the pig, the front of the leg. It tastes exactly like a pork shoulder or Boston butt. Hey right, guys, just a quick clip to show you that this is the other one. This was the uh, larger of the two. It is shredding very nice. Um, not gonna do anything more with this one uh, as far as video, but I'm gonna shred it up and use it for future recipes.